Hi everyone, this is my CS First dashboard. And as you can see, I have signed in as a student. So this is the student interface you're looking at. And uh, when you sign in with your ID, you will see your class down below. If you scroll, you will see the classes that you are added in and you can view the last project which you have worked upon. And you can also keep watching the video if you have left the video incomplete. So you can complete watching that as well. But before we go to our main project, let us discuss what we are going to do today. So we will be adding one more sprite or a hero to our project. So go to your projects on the left side over here. You will see projects in the previous class. You have created one project. So that was code your hero final project like this one. So when you click on projects, all the projects that you have worked upon so far will open up. But we don't want all the projects in your dashboard. Your dashboard should have only one project. So please delete the extra project. Like as you can see, this one is extra over here. So click on these three vertical dots, click delete project and then click yes, delete. The project will get deleted okay so once done open your final project so click on it it will open in another tab and you will be able to view your previous project that you did so in our previous class You have chosen hero, some of you have changed it, changed it, some of you have chosen the existing one and some of you have created everything differently. So your code, your wish, you can edit it the way you want to. But ensure that the name of the project should be code your hero dash final project. Okay, so now my code says this is the grandma and she is... Um, saying hello i am granny hero i have different superpowers watch me make difference in the world i use only my superpowers for good so that's what that that is what i have created in my previous class so now observe children now today we are going to add different costume to our sprites and we are going to even add one more sprite so when you click over here in the heroes the grandma sprite is selected over here and you can scroll up, go up and check over here in the costumes. When you click, you will see different superhero library over here. So you can choose or add in. So see over here we have the, uh, this man, the flying or teacher as a hero. Here a coach hero. Here. A differently abled man is a hero. Here we have a hero super dog. Okay, so dog is a hero over here. I guess he's some helping kind of dog. And now we have a father with a child. And so many, if you have a look at, so we have so many options. You can edit them according to your wish with the help of these options or you can even copy and paste also you can change the color also so for example now this is the grandma superhero you want to change the color of this dress so click on this and go to fill and click and you can drag and change the color like this okay so your code your wish your color so you can change the shape like this also once done just click outside it and that color will get selected see it is reflected over here also okay so that's how you can change the costume of your hero if you want to now add go back to this code and you will come to the main place now over here you want to add another sprite so to add another sprite you can click this icon choose a sprite here 
the first option is upload the sprite so you can yourself be one sprite take a nice photograph of yours and then you can upload it you can edit it you can change the color of your dress also and put it as a sprite okay now this is a surprise if you click on this the scratch randomly adds any of the sprites uh, in your stage so if i click this see what i get which sprite i'm getting oh i got a gif but i don't want this in my code so i am going to delete this as of now and then if you click from paint you can actually create a superhero on your own but i am not going to be very creative over here so i will be choosing a uh, sprite from the sprites library so i clicked over here and i am taken to this library and i can scroll and add a superhero so with the grandma whom should i add mm, let me check i would scroll 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 see this is a very huge library and you can select any one okay i would add this fairy so i clicked on the fairy and the fairy is added over here i can click and drag her and now she is there okay i don't think so she is going to fit on my code so i am going to change again i will go over here and now let me choose someone else as my hmm i want a catcher now i added a catcher i'm add i'm dragging her and adjusting it according to my stage area and now let's write a code for her so now how do you write the code for her of course you will be using from the events menu the flag because you want the code to start when the flag is clicked and from the looks menu you can use save for 2 second blocks drag it click and drag click and drag and then modify the code according to your wish just double click and start writing or you can keep this hello as it is and you can uh, create a conversation between these two according to your project that's it you have to do this much only once done go to the file and then click save now 